stream just so that we can get this information out to you quickly. And we have a lot of really fun auction finds that we have. We have them all laid out on two full tables. Don't forget, tomorrow is our fire sale at noon Central Standard Time. So make sure you tune in at noon Central Standard Time, which is about an hour and a half um, time-wise ago tomorrow. Does that make sense? That didn't make any kind of nope. sense. Nope. Anyway, it's one. <laughs> anyway. If you're looking at your clock and it's 1.30 here right now, then you can do the math. Noon yes, would be an hour and a half. We'll be ago. on noon, Central Standard Time tomorrow. Yes. All right. Anyway, I don't know why I'm so confusing today. It's okay. Okay. I'm super excited today because Lexi is playing her first high school softball game, which is why I'm sporting the Westland softball shirt. Yeah. So I'm really excited as a mom. Um. Anyway. Auction finds. That's really why you're here. You don't care about all the rest of that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, FYI, Friday morning, we're going to do a live stream with a uh, secret announcement on Friday morning. So make sure you tune in. Be uh, hitting that subscribe and notification bell on the Hooked on Picking YouTube channel because we Friday morning we'll be doing a live stream with a secret announcement. So we'll let you know what that is on Friday. So, teaser alert. All right, what do we have here for the auction finds? We have tons of stuff. Look at all this amazing stuff. So, if you're interested in any of this, none of it is listed on Hooked on Picking as of right now, but if you are interested in it, then we can shoot you a link as soon as you're interested in it. So, please leave comments in the section below if you're like, hey, please list this. I will buy it. All right? And you'll just buy it straight through the store. That way you can possibly get the free shipping with all the other fun stuff on the store. All right, $15 for this cool... Kind of candy dish bowl. Yeah. Beautiful, Beautiful kind red. of ruby red. Really um, nice. $15 that is glass, for that. By the yep, way, it yeah. is glass. Really cool, pretty bottom on it, too. It looks like blown glass to me. It does. All right. Then we have this awesome uh Magic Chef. Magic Shelf. He's a magic chef. He's a bank. He's oh, a plastic he? bank. Yes. Yep. See him? That's, I feel like that slit in the back of his head is not for hair. Nope. It's for monies. I feel like he should go ho ho ho. That's why that's how he talks. He does look French. Because he looks he? French. He looks yes. French. All right. And that's how all French people sound, I guess. That's super offensive. Sorry. Yep. <laughs> uh let's see. Lynette and Riley says hi guys. Awesome. Uh Lynn Gaynor says J. Jay. Jay. Uh, Jay. Sunshine she, Badges and Moore says hello. Her fingers got away from her and it Good. just went. Lynn Gaynor's thumbs up. We have twelve thumbs up and fifty awesome. people on. You nice. know, we're not we don't normally go live on a Wednesday, so yeah, we don't. We, just... we we're just kind of behind, and we want to make sure we're good to go for our daughter's softball game. Yep. Sunshine badges and more. Fire sale tomorrow. Yes, noon Central Standard Time. That is correct. Uh, Haskell. Let's see. There it went. Haskell Burks. Hello, Heather and Paul. Hello, hello. Uh, Heather Hernandez. Great name, Heather. It says, uh, good afternoon. I love your videos. Uh, I have cancer, bone cancer, so you guys uh, help me every day. Awesome. Well, we'll be praying for you, Heather, yeah. too. So, uh, Lord willing, everything goes well there for you. Uh, Dog Point Movie says, uh, hello, Paul and Heather. Just having a question. Do you have any room left? No. Nope. Not at all. We look like we're Um, Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Ready. Get ready, ready to freak it? out your brains. Those are you ready? Ones we just put in are here. you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> oh my word yeah we are totally cram packed in here right now yes so yep avalanche completely avalanche over there for a second we might die underneath our pellets <laughs> yep um michelle australia says hey sunshine badge more says three uh lives in one week is a is a good week yeah yes yeah can we do another live this week we will do another yeah we one will do on friday remember oh yes three lives so it's today tomorrow one. pam pilgrim says hi paul and heather Jennifer McQuaid did tons of thumbs up. Awesome. Christy Campbell says hi from Tennessee. Great. Sunshine Badges and Moore says, oh dear. <laughs> Dog yes. Point Movie says, just crazy fun. Just crazy it fun. It is. Um, it's crazy fun. There's actually fun product for you. underneath there. Yeah. Um, so we have a lot of, some of those are empty boxes because yep. we just, uh, a lot of those are the empty madcap boxes from the puzzles you right. saw yesterday. And so we'll be getting rid of those or re or breaking them down. And so we yep. just haven't gotten to that point. But those two tall pallets, we actually wedged in here yesterday. Yep. So they and are that, in here. And that as well. box over there with the suitcase in it is all broken items. These and are damaged. all broken items. That, that oil that you saw us unbox, you know, it's in there. It needs to be discarded. Yep. We'll probably give it to our friend who does oil changes for yeah, us all the time. Yeah, he knows how to discard this stuff. Yep. Lynn Gaynor says, love my rug. Awesome. Jennifer McQuaid says, hello. Hello, hello. Haskell Burke says, when are you going to know about the new place? 
Well, you will see, Haskell. Tune in. You this will week. see, Haskell. You'll find out. Michelle Estrella mm-hmm. says, What live is Friday? It's a secret. It's a secret, it's Michelle. It's a secret, Michelle. Shh. <laughs> Stop trying to get me to tell the secret. All right. Uh, Golf Rain says, I love the new products you got. They are cool. There's a dinosaur yes. on the back wall. Yes. The so raptor. we have puzzles that are that size. They're amazing. There's raptors, there's elephants, there's tigers, there's uh, sharks, there's you mm-hmm. name it. It's on there. Go to the toy section. They're all listed there. Rhonda Smith says, hi, you too. Hello, hello. Sunshine Badges and More says, I want puzzles. We have tons of puzzles now. We have now. tons of puzzles now. Pam Pilgrim says, uh, love the new popcorn. We have gotten so tons of reviews. We've got tons positive, of people, positive reviews. Like multiple different people said that they did reviews. Um, and even kids love the, love the Hammond's popcorn better as of right now. Yep. So we're probably going to continue to order. And we actually found a new company that has many other flavors that are going to be yep. coming soon. Yep. Uh, yep. Jim from Equate, thumbs up. Uh, awesome. Sherry Mitchell says, hello from Ohio. Light Bearer says, have you seen the price of oil? Don't throw it out. <laughs> right. No, we're going to give it to our friend who yeah. always does oil changes. He's so awesome. Literally, he drives to our house. He takes her car. He takes it back to his house. He changes the oil and then brings it back. Like, how awesome is that? Talk about customer God service. God bless living in a small town. I know. Michelle says, laugh a lot. Okay, okay. I'll try to tune in. Fridays are super busy for me. It'll be Friday morning. Yep. Just so you know, it's probably going to be... Um, sometime before 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. All right. So even if you aren't on live, you can watch it later because the video will still be posted the rest of the day. So, um, so, but w- it'll be Friday morning between 8 and 10, probably. So uh oh, somebody's calling Paul's me. phone is ringing. Here you go, Heather. Should I answer the phone? Who is it? Um, nope, we can't answer that one right now. Okay. <laughs> Don't know that you might want to shut off the ringer then. Oh, yeah. Sounds good. So. Okay, let's see here. And then we have um, ba, ba, okay. ba, 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 ba. Sunshine says, waiting for my popcorn to arrive. My review is pending. Just a viewer, howdy all. Uh, Mary McDonald, any cookies? They have been ordered and they are en route. Yep. Uh, Heather says, my birthday is March 25th and I'll be 24. There are so much cute things you guys get. Awesome. And Penny K says, hello from Northern Ontario, Canada. Awesome. And we're back to this stuff. All right. So then some of our other auction finds. This is a cool Mickey clock, $5. It is battery operated. It is ticking, but I don't see the hands necessarily moving or the, the, uh, it was. It's not anymore. It's not anymore? It probably just needs a new battery. It might need a new battery. But it's I, I heard I heard it making noise when I was setting things up, but uh, I'm thinking it's oh yeah it's ticking. I'm thinking All it's right. 1990s or early 2000s. Right. But a lot of people are a Mickey collector, so five bucks for and that. And then is this an owl? An owl, an owl, owl paperweight, glass owl. paperweight. Yep, seven fifty for that paperweight. Then we got some salt and pepper shakers, seven fifty each for those. I think they're both Germany. Yeah, they're really fun. Deutschland, Germany, and then I this is a like a cool scene. Yeah, cool scene of a place. It says a name on it. Uh, Rothenberg? Is it Rothenberg, Rothen- yes. Rothenberg, yeah. All right. So there you go. Then we've got birds. Birds. $5 each for the pair. So, well, actually, these are birds. These are ducks. Ducks. Are ducks birds, a bird? Ducks. They are, but they have ducks wings. are ducks and these are birds. These are like finches. Kind My of finches. mind is blown. And then I had a, it went. I don't know. They're an aquatic bird, so they're not I a guess. bird. All right. Who knows? All right. Then we have our cute little dog here. That is little... Kathy Weiss. Some people are a collector oh, of Kathy yeah. Weiss. I think in 1993. Five bucks. A little cow. Mm-hmm. Five dollars. Then we have a cool little, uh, what is it, a pencil holder? I think it is a toothpick holder. A toothpick holder. Okay. It is uh, very old, actually. It is uh, made in Japan. It's um, a crocodile or an yep. alligator pulling a basket. Yes, indeed. Ten bucks on that guy right there. Yep. And this is a little wooden set. They got the salt and pepper. Look at these little guys. They do have some wear on them. I think they're. I think they're vintage. They I think. Come, yeah, they come out. Probably this was from um, someone that uh, went to uh, probably Holland or something. Maybe I was thinking Mexico, but oh, I'm yeah. not sure. I don't really know. And then this but is probably I, what toothpick holder too. Yeah, I think this was supposed to be either salt and pepper or it could have been a spice. If you have there. That's I right. just put them together for $5. All right. neat. Then we have this cool Roman looking If you bag. look on the back, Heather, it says a whole bunch of information. We just have them for 10 bucks. You want to read it to them? Sure. This says, St. George the Warrior wall plaque inspired by the original Donatello. St. George, sometimes called the Victory 
Bringer, portrayed as a proud, youthful, self-confident, um, I, uh, realist ideal in his work by Italian sculptor Don, sorry, Donatello. Subject in the art of our day, our bas relief quality resin replica of St. George becomes an accent piece in addition to any historic grouping. Beautiful. All right. So that's what it says on the back. Ten bucks. Is it, uh, I think that's the dragon up above there. Yeah, it is. There's a dragon right there. You said he's, what What was his name again? St. George. St. George is, is the victor of dragons. Yeah. So the uh, if you've ever been to the Creation Museum, uh, they actually have a whole thing about him. So we think he didn't kill dragons. We think he actually probably killed a few dinosaurs mm. that they would have referred to as dragons back in the day. It's really fascinating and reading up about him. It's neat. So... Uh, they're not sure which dinosaur, but some dinosaur was running around killing a whole bunch of uh, sheep and people and whatnot. And he went in and killed the dinosaur or dragon, whatever yep. you want to do. All right. That is tic-tac-toe. Tic-tac-toe. If you open it, you'll see the marbles. Just be very careful. They'll fall out. Oh, see the marbles? They're yeah. in there. Pretty neat, huh? Look at that, folks. Play Those are old some, marbles, too. They are old marbles. Look Don't up, lose them. I won. Don't lose your marbles. <laughs> Don't, lose my, <laughs> Don't lose my marbles. Careful. Oh, I have one too many. Careful. That's an extra one. There you go. You're supposed to have one more. Yeah, you're supposed to have... I mean, there are more inside this box than what I just pulled out. Yep. All right, $10 for that. Yep. Really cool set. That's pretty neat. Yeah. This is really cool. This is a vintage 1970s belt buckle of a shell, but it is fully brass, very heavy, $25. It says, look at that, solid sturdy. brass. Solid brass on there. Really nice. Oh, um, if you're on and you like the content today, you can always give us super chats. Super chat for any super live chat. streams. Uh, let's see here. Len Gaines, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. We have 109 people on now, Heather. That's fantastic. Look, you even have a little thingy. Look at that. Lynn Gaines. I forgot we had one of those guys. <laughs> I found it the other day. Um, Let's see. Sunshine Badges and more says, I believe a turtle over Y. Oh, over to the right. Yes. We're going to show you the turtle. Yes, there is a turtle. A okay. If you turtle. want us to list these things online, please comment below. Um, If not, you can always send me an email and say, hey, please list this. I want to buy it. Yep. Along with a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, on that's the store. pretty much how we're going to do it today. If you want something, uh, probably when I get back from prayer meeting tonight, I will list whatever it is that you want. Yep. And then you can get it on the store. Because we're pretty much going to get done with this live stream and then run off to activities. Yep. Um, but if you are interested in anything, either send us an email or comment in the live stream yep. right now, and that way we'll list it. But uh, I, we won't leave till about three o'clock. So if you send it something quickly, I'll try to put it on the store so that right. you can buy it quickly yep. that way. Haskell says, Ori Dunlin. Michelle says, Sunshine Ice. I seen that. I uh, seen okay. the turtle. All right. uh, ducks are birds. Ducks are uh, birds. Heather says, I am from Florida. Penny says, Are you sure the dog is not a cow? It's a cow. Did I say dog? Yeah, we called it a dog. It's a That's cow. That's a cow. It's a cow. <laughs> that is a cow. I totally called it a dog. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> It's a dog that moves, okay? It's a dog that moves. <laughs> Sunshine says, I agree, Bert's Penny. I think it's barks. a cow. It's a cow that barks. Penny is laughing out loud. <laughs> Ooh, I like the St. George patron saint of Scott, uh, scouts. I did yeah. not know that. Yeah. Emma says, it is so sad the international shipping is so expensive because you have such pretty stuff. Well, yes. if you combine it all, Sunshine buys, buys international all the time. Yep. Although she does pay more in shipping than the rest of you. Janet guys. Hook says, hi from Mama Hooks. Awesome. Michelle says, Emma, yeah, she gives you uh, different options, but uh, that's how much it costs her. Yeah. 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 Uh, Michelle Shaw says, hello, Mama Hooks. Um, Janine or Janae uh, at Emma says, I totally agree. I'm from Denmark and I, it would cost me a fortune in shipping. Yes. Yep. Ozzy says, good day awesome. uh, from Australia. Sunshine says, okay. Uh, Sunshine says, I have to tutor in 15 minutes. Laugh out loud. Turtle. Okay. okay. We need right. to get to the turtle. All right. Okay. Here. Shall we just jump to the turtle? We'll jump to the turtle for Sunshine. All right. Here. Sunshine, here you go. That is a hand-carved wooden turtle, Sunshine. $40. $40. Look at that thing. Isn't that gorgeous? It's cool. Dad found that at the recent auction. All this stuff Dad finds. Yep. Really, really neat. No clue where it came from. I just know what auction he went to. Pretty stinking neat. It's a little bowl. Look how smooth it's it is. Really inside. smooth inside. 
Forty dollars for the wooden turtle. For the wooden turtle. Okay, now we'll go back here. All right, there you go, sunshine. All right, then we have uh, a moon. Moon votive. Votive holder. Five dollars. Then we have a really cute salt and pepper shaker. Those this are made in Japan, and a lot of people like to know. Yep. Comes that. with a little tray. Mm -hmm. uh, Ten dollars for that. They're not sterling. They're not. All right, then we have the. Um, Fred Harvey salt and pepper shaker. Ten bucks. They they look like wood bark. Like he carved them out of a stick, which is just amazing. Yeah, it does. It's so like a li you know how you get things with a live edge. Well, here's yeah, a salt that's, and pepper that's a live shaker. Edge a live there. Edge. there you go. All right, another salt and pepper shaker there. This is Cherokee. Uh, I've been here before, Cherokee, North Carolina. Yep. So my family went there one time. Pretty neat. Five bucks. And a little little Amazing little jars. moonshine for moonshine you. Jars. Little moonshine. Little moonshine. Jars. Little brown jug. We are Southern Baptist, so no, <laughs> no it's just not. kidding. Just kidding. All right, All right. Turtle. turtle, turtle, turtle again. Four dollars for the turtle. All right, twenty bucks. This is a vintage. Okay. We don't know what that is. Devilbiss medical. Devilbiss. Atomizer. Devilbiss De medical Bis. atomizer. It says it on. I the... thought it was a perfume thing. But it's actually. But apparently, it is not. So twenty bucks for this. It's actually the vintage one. So. You use it for whatever you want to, you but somebody out there knows perfume, what that sure. is, and they're going to love it. Because it mists, basically. And they're just going to lose their mind. It, it is in working condition. Oh, yeah, everything works. you can feel it. Yeah, it's You totally... might be de-atomizing yourself right now, or atomizing yourself. I am going to yourself. disappear in a minute. Awesome. All right, then we have stirrups here. Really cool leather stirrups. With a horseshoe. With a horseshoe. Uh, with horsies. With a horseshoe ornament. Ornament. 20 yes. bucks for the little set there. Yep. Let me catch this up here. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Ba, ba, ba. Michelle says, Paul said cow, uh, cow. Heather said dog. It's okay. <laughs> yep. It's a moo woof. It's a moo woof. <laughs> uh, Hemlock says, hi, new to your channel. Well, awesome. hello, Hemlock. Welcome. Welcome. Pie whack it. Pie whack it. I love that. <laughs> St. George is England's patron saint. Awesome. Sunshine is drooling over the turtle. Gotcha. Uh, Hemlock says, beautiful. And Neela says, uh, hello, Hooks from Oregon Coast. You're number one fan. Nice. You bet. Uh, yeah, Hemlock says, looks like a perfume to me, too. That's what I thought, too. Yeah. Uh, Pegathy, too, says, old-time ventilator, laugh out loud. <laughs> it's basically a vintage nebulizer, is what they oh. say. Oh. That was used for people with asthma back in the day. Okay. And Avery's All In says, hello, Hooks. Hey, Avery's All In is actually going to come visit us. Yeah. They're going to be in our neck of the woods at the beginning of April, and so they're going to pop in and say hello, so we're going to be able to do dinner and stuff. going to go to St. Louis, wants to go up in the arch. Yes. So yep. See, around here, it's not that big of a deal because every sixth grade class has to go up in the arch. Right. You know? Right. So. But so, uh, it is fun. Hope it's really you're not cool. claustrophobic. <laughs> hope you're not claustrophobic. They put you like this little <laughs> This capsule. little elevator is really, really small. Fun so. fact, it takes 12 minutes to get to the top of the arch, and it takes eight minutes to get to... Anybody know why? Gravity. All right, let's see. Good job, Paul. Uh, <laughs> he learned something on that sixth grade trip. <laughs> That's all I learned on that sixth grade trip. There are trip. cool windows, though, that you can look out and actually see the ground from the arch. On the yes, inside. there are. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's mm -hmm. cool. Right. Okay, where are we at now? All right. So we are at the horseshoe. here. The yeah. horseshoe. This is a cool horseshoe. It says, good luck from Buffalo Bill Ranch. Yep. Um, It is an actual metal horseshoe. Yep. $10. Yep. The so. original Buffalo Bill. That's cool. 10 bucks. All right. Look at this guy. I know. This is a trick pony. So yeah. What does it do? See the little lever you pull, and then he will. It's right on. Right, right here. Hand. Yep. Yep. And then he just drops the coin into the bucket. Oh. It's a bank. It's a bank. A, um, I think that it is a reproduction, but I cannot completely tell it and verify. It is fully metal. It is and cast very, iron. Yeah, it's cast iron and very heavy. $25. $25 bucks on that guy. Look at this guy. Yeah, that is neat. This is a Coke bottle ice cream scoop. Brandy. It is very heavy. Very heavy. It's never been opened. It's solid $10. Ten bucks for that guy there. And since we're going with Coke, we gotta go with the Santa because that's like the official Coke Santa. Uh, these these are cards. That's the ten, and they haven't been opened either. I know a lot of people collect Santa Ooh, and, and Coca-Cola the Coca -Cola ones, and they haven't even been opened. Ten, ten bucks, bucks for that guy there. All right, more Coke stuff. Boom. We have this is a uh, diary. Yep. Or journal from Coke with the official bear, and then we've got a pen, a Coke pen with its own case. So five dollars for the diary, ten seven fifty for that. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, then, let's see. Uh, Avery's all in. Looks excited uh, for that there. Um, Carol S. has just looked it up. It was used to spray cocaine solution on throat and nasal passages 
as a local anesthetic for colds and sore throats. So I, I might have you cocaine on my hand You may have cocaine now, on your hand, Heather. And I'm going to start going crazy in a minute. That'd be no. awesome. <laughs> That'd be awesome probably on a, live stream. Probably a good time, to be honest yeah, with we'd you. We'd probably have a lot of views <laughs> if we did that. Like, tons of views all of a sudden. Pastor's wife goes yeah. nuts. Yep. Uh, Michelle Lestralo says, I can I cannot take an elevator that takes that long. I'll laugh loud. I'll freak out. <laughs> they have a little window in the elevator so there you is. can see your descent. It's wonderful. Yes. Catherine says, uh, hi all from Scotland. Uh, Haskell says, hello Avery's all in. And like says, OMG, that horse is amazing. Yeah, yeah it is. it's really cool. Sunshine says, email has already been sent. Yep, I got it on my uh, on my watch, Sunshine. Yeah. Pegathy 2 says, a one-trick pony. Uh, yep. yep. Uh, and then Avery says, hello, Haskell. And everybody's laughing and crying, and it's going to be awesome. Awesome. Okay, moving on. All right, then we have this giant se semi, $45 for this giant semi, Briggs & Stratton mm -hmm. power equipment it's got cool decals all over it. So just a really large size. I mean, it's huge. It is big. It's really, really enormous. Yep. I We didn't have the box, of course. Yep. It was bought at auction. I think it probably sat on somebody's shelf because it doesn't look like it's been played with. It's really. very much a display piece. Yeah. Uh, but you can play with it. I mean, if you want to buy it for your grandkid. Yeah, if you want to. Go for it. If you $45 is what we have because I don't have the box for it. Yep. I think if you had the box for it, it's $100. Mm -hmm. So. There you go. Cool thing. Then more Coke stuff. So we got a cool couple of uh, Coke tins here. This one can be used as an ornament, but they they do open. And then the little Coke tray, $10 for the whole lot of Coke tray. Pegathy 2 says, love your dad shopping. Awesome. He's got a good eye, he doesn't does. he? And then we've got some candle holders. Really cool. Kind of blue on this little corner, which is yeah, kind of I neat. think that's pretty clever. So these are like votive candle holders. seven fifty for the set. Mm-hmm. This I love this though. Look at this. Fifteen dollars for the fish paperweight. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Red, white, and blue. It just makes you happy. We went snorkeling one time and we saw fish. That looked just no. like that. Yeah, I, they were just so beautifully colorful. So apparently, when they're in the water, they're they're just this vibrant color. If you take them out of the water, they kind of lose their vibrance. They're like a little bland. It's kind of interesting how that's yeah. done that way. Let's All see right. a few more catch ups. Uh, sure. Sunshine says, "I was hoping Andrew Elder would be here. Hopefully tomorrow." Uh, Hemlock says, uh, quick question since I'm new. Is this like an auction? All right. So we're just doing a live stream where we're displaying these pieces. These pieces are all going to be available on um, Hooked on Pickin' if you ask us to post it. Yep. If not, they'll be on the fire sale tomorrow, which will be more like that tomorrow. So you'll be able to buy things tomorrow at noon Central Standard Time on the fire sale. So yep. And whatever doesn't sell today of these items will be on tomorrow's fire sale. Yes, Haskell says uh, Coke things are very collect collectible. Mm -hmm. Yes, Pegasi uh, two says looks like a Pepsi fish. It does kind of, doesn't it? It looks, it does look like a Pepsi fish. And Michelle Estrella says, "I see books. You do. You do." Sunshine says, "Let your dad know that some of his Scout stuff has sold already." Laugh out loud. Awesome. Never even hit the eBay. Nice. Wow. Deborah J K says, "Wow, 150 viewers. Yeah, that's great, guys. Yeah, that Thank is. you for just popping on like this." Yes. Hemlock says, awesome, thank you. Tammy says, Andrew Elder's at work, but I will tell him uh, you asked about him. Awesome. And then Sunshine says, yes, Coke things are very collectible. All right. Great. So we're going to look at the second table Next table. Here. Yep. All right, I got to stand up. Okay, let's see. We put $40 on each of these, I don't know what you want, scrapbooks, I guess. Uh, they Usually you would put photographs in it. Let me move that there. But these are very unique. They yeah. are all matchbook covers now look at that i mean just a ton and they definitely look they've got age for sure on look at them. these these are like hunts yeah definitely got age and to them i'm skipping pages you know oh so yeah look at all these really neat so i'm guessing it was a collector and then that was at their auction you know yeah so yeah so just a ton each one of these books has just a ton and so we're selling each book 40 bucks a piece. Yep. Um, and they just have different kind of um, memorabilia, but they're it's, all matchbooks. It's books. all matchbook. Here's the Pink Pony in Scottsdale. You wonder if any of these places are still open. Yeah. These are food ones. The Hula Hut. So this one said, what, stuff. the Old West? Yeah. Just a so, ton of cool stuff. And then this one also has a bunch in it. Oops. Oops. Sorry. Yeah. 
and they're double sided. I think they're neat. Yeah, they're really. I think cool. they're really neat. So forty bucks a piece for the vintage. When we were looking up the matchbook collectible matchbooks, none of them were displayed as nice as these. They usually were just in a big pile that you could buy on eBay, um, and they were a lot less, or they were they were even more than forty dollars for the amount of matchbooks covers in here. These are all nicely displayed, so that's really cool. So forty bucks a piece, and you can let us know if you want the green one, the white one, the blue one, or all three. So just let us uh, know. Sunshine says, are there any Scout matchbook covers? They are. Are mainly British, though. Honestly, uh, we haven't even looked through the majority we of them. Really looked through all of them. Nancy yeah. says, "I love watching you unpack your things." Awesome. Sunshine says, "Ooh, sorry, I was thinking cigarette cards." Okay. Yeah, these are matchbooks. Yep. Uh, hello from Denton, Texas. Says Don, and awesome. you should sell those books as a lot. Yeah, well, well I'm just going to sell them as a uh, one book a piece. Yep. So, I mean, we would definitely sell them as a lot if you want yep. to buy if you want all, all three. three of them, just message. Let us know, but we just thought. Forty dollars is a little bit more of a reasonable price. And look at this guy. This is a Steel State eight lever um, Simmons lock, and it does come with the key. Ten dollars for that old vintage lock. That's cool looking. Yep. And then we have these cool uh, candle holders, really vintage metal candle holders. They're, they're cast iron. Cast iron. Yeah. Yep. Ten dollars for those. We have this cool operator's phone, like switchboard operator, legitimate yeah. switchboard operator phone, $20. Cool display piece. Yeah. My guess is it's probably not working, but it is a really neat display piece. Yeah. Even if it was working, I don't know what you would do with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then we have this um, neat kind of, I don't know, it's like a mail slot kind of yeah. decorative piece. I think sometimes, uh, I can't remember what we what would keep in this. Is it matches? I can't yeah. remember what was kept in these things here. Yeah, cast it's kind of iron like, like a that. dispenser. Yeah. Yep. And um, then this is just a cast iron belt. It has seen better days, but the fact that it's still around, I think, is neat. pretty good. Yep. Five, Five bucks. bucks. Then we've got some fun books. So these are all automotive manuals. So you got these two huge ones here. So you're going to sell a whole lot of three. This one is 1972 to 79. And then this one. And then um, all three of them are going to be 15 bucks for the whole stack. Yeah, and that's, yep. uh, what year was that? That's, uh, this one's 1955. New car issue, 1955. New cars. That's pretty cool. 15 bucks bucks yep. for the lot of three. These are cool. Like, I would just frame some of these pictures. I know. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Those are neat. Brand new. All right. Beautiful. So then, then this one is... Yeah, uh, these were just old books that we found. Shadowing um, and Surveillance, a complete guidebook by Burt Rapp. $5 for that. How cool yeah, is that? It doesn't even have a barcode. Mm-hmm. So, if you want to be shadowy in surveillance, you now you can. You want to be sneaky. There you go. All right. Then we have America in Pictures. So, a bunch of historical pictures in that whole book. And then the book underneath uh, it. I think the book is 1953. Okay. And then uh, this is the account of the Battle of Wilson's Creek or Oak Hill. I think it's a testimonial of someone that was at uh, this battle. Uh, it was written in 1961. So, pretty neat. Yeah, ten dollars for the the set of those two. Then we have a bunch of Princess Diana magazines for the whole lot of six, fifteen dollars. But really, really beautiful condition on the covers of those. Yeah. So that was a sad time for a lot of people. Yes, it was. I remember when that happened. Mm-hmm. So, so really pretty magazines. Mm-hmm. So all six uh, of them uh, you can get for fifteen dollars. Yep. All right, then we have Professional Magic Made Easy. When I look these books up, they were actually fairly expensive by Bruce Elliott. Um, and it's got all the like hand gestures and pictures on how to do all the magic tricks. It's yep. $7.50 for this one book. And it does have the dust cover and it's in great condition. Almost basically looks brand new. Mm -hmm. Then we have another whole stack of things here. This is. These are $15. antique books antique enamel, uh, coin book. What is it? The oak furniture. And then I think there's one other one down here. This is the the, the world of Wade. Yeah. So, fifteen dollars for the stack. Yep. So. All right. Then we have the children's picture dictionary, five dollars. Really old school one. Yep. Definitely got age to it. Yep. It's showing you how to write in cursive, which I don't think they teach children that much anymore. They're phasing that out. Yep. So, which is kind of sad. I remember learning cursive. Yep. So I still use it occasionally. All right. Then we have this here is... Somebody um, named Lucy. Don't know who it is. Yeah. I love Lucy something. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, we know what I love Lucy. I know what $15, I love. he's being silly. But it's this whole piece, and it is um, in the original box yep. and in great condition. Yeah, good condition. Very good condition. 
I don't even know if it went out of the box very yep. often. Yep. $15. So $15 bucks. for I Love Lucy. We have this cool piggy bank. Kind of reminds me of a Boyd Bear a little bit. Yep. Boom. Slot right there. There it is. And then the little plug on the bottom. So nice big size one. $10 for that. And then we have this lot of pen holders. So you stick a pen in there. Um, and we're just going to sell the whole glass lot for $50. So they're like paperweight pen holders. Really cool. Um, and... Uh, $50 for the whole glass lot of paperweight pen holders. Yep. So they all have a little bit of weight to them. And then this was really cool. So this is actually, we were like, okay, it's a swivel seat. Because it actually has a rubber stopper on the bottom and it does actually swivel. But it's actually shaped this way for therapeutic purposes. Um, and so it's got a really nice cover on it. And when we looked them up, they're around, what, 100? 120. 120, 150. Yeah. Even ones up, that had owned. wear... And look look pretty rough. This one is in really nice shape. Yes, and it's got the rubber stopper on the bottom, and it swivels on this pedestal. Yeah. And so really, really nice condition. $80 for that. If you look those up, um, I think... What is it called? If you flip on the yeah. back, it actually There's is actually a tag here. It is actually called the Portable Wobble Chair. If you can see that, I don't know. Here, here just pop it up. There we go. Yeah, portable wobble chair. It's hard to see. Yeah, because the, the, the sticker shine. is kind of yeah. shiny. Portable wobble chair. So we put 80 bucks on it, which was definitely a steep discount from the 120 So um, And remember, if you buy anything on Hooked on Picking, you're going to get that free shipping for $100 uh, or more. And so if you buy the portable wobble chair, you just have to pick $20 worth of stuff on Hooked on Picking, which you could do just with popcorn and snacks. Anyway, um, and then you get that free shipping, and then it won't be as much. So. Uh, Haskell says it's a matchbox holder, cast okay. iron matchbox holder. That's what I thought. I thought it was yes. for matches. Okay. That was for matches on the wall. Sharon says, yes, the mail slot is for a, a box of wooden matches. Okay, so we'll call it yep. a matchbox holder when yep. we put it on hooked on picking. Yep. Uh, the bottom was the striker. Great. Oh, perfect. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Those Diana magazines are collectible. Mm -hmm. That's what we thought. Yep. Andrew Ultra, hello, everyone. Andrew. Hey, welcome. Oh, Andrew popped on. He did pop on. Oh, hey, great. Welcome, Andrew. Andrew Elder, thanks so much uh, for your presence. It's awesome. Everybody. Andrew's a celebrity on here. He this is, is awesome. A celebrity. Everybody's like, where's Andrew Elder? He's yeah. always on here. Stephanie Vaughn says, those are glass frogs for flower arrangements, I believe. You know what? We saw them labeled all kinds of different ways. Yes. So pen holder, flower arrangements. So. Don't know. 50 bucks for the 50 whole bucks lot. 50 bucks for the lot. Lose your mind. we looked up ones that looked exactly like this. They were going for around ten bucks a ten piece. Ten bucks a piece, yeah. and that's a lot more than five. Yes. So, uh, let's see. Uh, Sunjan says I have to run though. My tutoring kid is coming into Zoom. See you all tomorrow. Okay. See ya. Uh, Michelle says uh, I am related to Lucy. Oh, cool. Nice. Let's see. People talking to Haskell. Does this. Sharon says the glass things with the holes are called frogs. They are used in the bottom of a bowl or vase. Then you put your flowers in the holes. Perfect. Well, Andrew Elder you. says, laugh aloud, I'm at work, but I don't clock in for about 20 minutes. Nice. Great. Uh, Michelle says, love watching you guys. And uh, yeah. All right. We're going to give you a quick overview. So those of you who jumped on late, we'll give you a quick overview of kind of just we're going to show you. And But if you're interested, you can go back and just watch uh, the video and see the prices and stuff. But yep. we'll just kind of just do it. Yeah, no, nothing is listed right now on Hooked on Picking. If you want something, just message us. Yep. You got to message us at hookedonpicking at gmail.com or hookedonpicking.com. Holberg says, my package still hasn't shown up. All right. We'll just email me. Let me yep. know. Um, yep. 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 Everything been, has been shipped. Everything, everything has been shipped. Literally everything. Yes. I did that last night. Yep. Everything is shipped. Yep. So we've got lots of different things. Glass bowls, clocks, owls, salt and pepper shakers. So we're just going to yes, give you a quick overview. Indeed. Of everything real fast. Dad is having fun going to auctions. Yep. Buying all sorts of fun stuff. But we will be posting. So if you're interested in something, we'll post it on Hooked on Picking. The that way you can sale. combine shipping with anything else you want on Hooked on Picking. It's always nice to hit that $100 threshold and get the free shipping. Uh, some of these items, you know, they're a little bit, um, you know, like the, the seat and things like that. They're a little bit more. So you can hit that $100 mark quick. 
or just buy lots of new fun things that we have. We just listed a bunch of poster size puzzles in the toy section. We got cotton candy. We got cotton candy for sure. All the different flavors of cotton candy. Really cool. We also um, have added a shoe category. So the shoes are no longer in the clothing category. It's a lot more organized now. So if you want to check out some shoes, go for it. Um, and then, like I said, here's all the fun things that dad found at the auction. So these are our auction finds. We love being able to offer brand new and vintage. So we just have a little bit of everything on Hooked on Pick and work basically like an online general store, I feel like. Pretty so much. Um, anyway, just another teaser. Tomorrow we have our fire sale at noon central standard time. And Friday we will have a special live stream between, uh, we will go live sometime between 8 and 10 in the morning with a secret. And you'll have to figure out what that secret is. Secret surprise. On Friday. Oop. But we wanted to get this video out to you live and interact with you guys a little bit. I know we don't usually go live on Wednesdays, but we've got a softball game to go to. So send us your emails. We will take them in the order they came. And then I'll send you the link to the item as soon as it is listed. And so just be on the lookout for that. Lisa Lisa Hull says, uh, love you guys from Canada. Awesome, thanks. Andrew Elder says, my package from last week is scheduled to arrive today. Awesome. Fantastic. Avery's All In says, many great vintage treasures. Awesome. Yeah, definitely check out Avery's All In's channel too. They have a YouTube channel. Yep, they do. do. A great job. They do the fun stuff of the storage auctions. They do. So that's really cool. Yep. Uh, Andrew Elder says, uh, Hope Burke, with the shop app, you can see where your package is until it is delivered. Oh, great. Yep. Uh, Hope Burke says, uh, how do you do it? So I'll let you guys kind of figure that out. Yep. Uh, let's see. Uh, Pegathy2 says, love your videos. Constance awesome. Rowe has, says, hello all. Awesome. Ozzy says, awesome finds once again. Yep, dad's doing great. Yep. Haskell says, Pegathy2, it holds a whole box of wooden matches with a side. Yep, yep. Georgia Flips, hello everyone. Jennifer Smith says, got my package today. Perfect. Great. Lynette and Riley says, waiting for your live Friday will make it easier to get up for work. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Great. Awesome. I will link that live stream on Facebook 15 minutes before we do go live, but make sure you hit the subscribe button on the Hooked on Pickin' channel and that notification bell. That way it will pop up and tell you that we are live. So um, just FYI for that. So thanks so much for joining us. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic rest of the day. We have nice weather for our Beautiful. first softball game. 70 wearing, degrees. I am sporting my Westland softball shirt because yep. my daughter is playing her very first uh, high school softball game. So we're super excited about that. Yeah, so I'm really excited. Uh, Roxanne says, hi, Heather and Paul. My fire sale items will be here Friday. Nice. Great. Nice. All right. Sounds good? Okay. Sounds great. Thanks so much for joining us. Send us those emails if you want this product. And we will see you tomorrow on the fire sale. And remember, in the end, Jesus wins.